Hi guys, Kiani Hanna here today and I'm here to talk to you a little bit about team culture. So one of the things that I really developed in the last 18 months is the team culture on my team. Um, I got brought into this business um, and I really felt what was lacking was a unity. I didn't feel part of a bigger team. I didn't even feel part of any type of team, honestly, and I really felt a lost and alone. And I kept going to other teams and going, I wish I would have this and I wish I would have this. And so I just said, you know what? Stop it, Kiana. Why can't you create this on your own team? So I really spent a good amount of my time focusing on um, creating an environment that I would want to be part of. So if first and foremost, you need to make sure that you have opened your own team page. If you don't have your own team page, why not? Why are you waiting? Whether you have one business builder or none, um, or whether you have 17 discount coaches and you're only talking to yourself, that's okay. It's called practice. And um, it's something that you need to put yourself in the role of being that leader every day. So some of the things that I have done to create the culture of my team. Number one, it's a very positive environment and I don't expect anything else from anyone else. Okay. I don't, I guess I don't expect anything less from anyone else. Um, I I don't want the page to be a catty, whiny, I can't believe this is happening type of stuff. We are very positive in there and we are always uplifting and we share ideas and we share posts and I try to share something from personal development um, three, four times a week. It's really an environment where I have created, where I want my team to come to, to know that they can find support and encouragement. So what are some things that I've done to increase the culture of my team? Number one is I do a weekly top 10 in my team of volume and I put it across the banner. Okay. So the first thing that a new coach sees is this banner of top 10 coaches. Something that I want you to understand is the more that coaches identify with your team, the more that they relate to the team, the more they can find success partners or people or coaches that that get each other, the more that they feel appreciated and respected, um, the more they're going to embrace your team, the more they're going to be part of your team culture, the more they're going to give back. So I just want you to understand that your top 10 banner um, should be something that is reflective of your team or some type of recognition. It doesn't have to be top 10 in volume, but it could be, so I do top 10 weekly in volume and I change it each week. Um, it could be someone that you want to recognize for something. Um, maybe they had an awesome month in success club. Maybe it was your team, your top leader for recruiting. Maybe it was um, someone that you wanted to give a shout out. I don't know, but you want to use that banner and use it wisely. Don't just put it a motivational something there. Use it um, as, as recognition. Cause I think that you're, you're missing the boat if you don't do that. Okay. Um, I do success club celebrations all the time. I am constantly recognizing people for success club, whether it's one point, uh, two points, three points. Um, I am, and then I put, I make a drawing. So my team, we're going to go into this more in detail on Friday when I talk about recognition, but make it, um, something that, they need to understand and that you have made a culture on your team that success club is non-negotiable, that um, that they're pushing themselves every month to reach success club because success leaves clues. And when you're helping new people each month, you're going to be successful. So I do a success club drawing each month. Um, and honestly, some months I'm better than others. Um, and sometimes I, it takes me a couple weeks to catch up. But I'm always recognizing the team leaders on my team. I'm always recognizing the highest success club point earners. I'm always recognizing those that made success club for the first time. I'm always recognizing those that are helping one person. Um, I'm always, I'm always, always constantly recognizing my coaches. And that's really, really important to do because I never felt I got that. Um, I know how important recognition is. Um, so anything you any amount of points you want to celebrate and don't just to celebrate, you know, those that make 40 points each month or 30 points each month, celebrate everyone. The other thing that I do for team culture is to make them feel part of a team. So for Summit, for example, I bought my team um, something to celebrate them together. Okay. I kind of don't want to say because I, um, I have people in, in this, in this group that I'm trying to surprise and they might read this, but, um, 
So whether it's a t-shirt that you get that says their name, a, you know, Team United Legacy on it, whether it's some type of bracelet, whether it's um, some type of backpack, I don't know what it is, whether it's a notebook that you ordered for everyone with your team name on it. There's lots of different things you can do, um, but developing the culture of your team means that they're part of a team and they feel part of a team and they really want to be part of that. So again, team shirts don't have to be just for Summit. I, I ordered team shirts in the past. They have websites now that you can create your emblem, create your team and you know t-shirt and they literally can go to that website and order so you don't have to deal with all the shipping and handling, which has kind of been a pain in my past. Um, so, and then I do like team-wide challenge groups and I'm constantly always asking my team to contribute. So I'm doing, um, like right now we're all doing this, like a bunch of us, maybe 15 of us are doing the three day refresh. I have open challenge groups each month where they know they can join me in my challenge groups. And I, I do, um, I do things in systems and duplication. So I have a team open house every month that they know that they can contribute. And I ask coaches to share their story. I, I, like I said, I, I do a clean eating group each month where I set systems up where they know they can be part of mine, they can learn from that, or they can create their own. Um, and it's really a community that's tight-knit and that we really help each other. They know if they post something on my page, they're going to get answered. They know if they have a new coach and they're introducing them, that our whole team's culture is to introduce, to like them, to comment on them, to welcome them to the family. It is a non-negotiable thing that you support and encourage each other. If you're negative on the page, I just remove it because it's my page and I can do whatever I want. So if it's something that's negative that you need to talk about, that needs to be behind closed doors in a private message with your coach. Um, don't get me wrong. There are things that are on there that people talk about, you know, they're struggling. That's different. Talking about how you're struggling and what, how you want to deal with it and coming up with solutions together is different than just being super negative about the business. So that how, how, is how I have created team culture on my team. On Friday, we're going to talk a little bit about, or I'm going to talk a little bit about recognition and what I do for recognition and how it's really catapulted um, and created momentum on my team. So I hope this helps and I hope that you can get value out of this. And I hope you have a fantastic day. Talk to you soon. Bye.